Hey everybody, it's Rob and we're back with another video. We just shot a video with Lane, which was pretty fun and awesome. Lane doesn't talk as much as me, so it's a very quick flat top. You can look it up, it's in the rest of our video section. He did a very short flat top on one of our barbers, Mr. Milky the Barber, Jason. Uh, what I'm gonna do today is, is gonna be a flat top with fenders also known as the flat top boogie also known as the mac curtis uh, a rockabilly singer from back in the days which kind of made the cut famous by wearing it um, it is your normal style flat top but with longer sides it is a it is a haircut with definitely a bit of a punk rock and rolly feeling to it uh, my model Aryan here is a is a big guy right and i really think this haircut works on him because he's a big guy you know you don't want to have the hair too high and it's one of the very few haircuts that's actually shorter on top and longer on the sides i mean 90 percent of the guys come in you know a little bit longer on top short on the sides we've all heard that one before this is the other way around it's not the hardest haircut in the book and there are different ways of doing it, right? So, as you can tell, there is length on the sides, which I'm gonna keep very, well, very long, as long as possible. We're gonna slick that back with pomade later. We're gonna try to end in a little bit of a DA in the back with a tapered nape area. So, what I'm gonna do is first, I'm gonna remove a little bit of bulk. So I'm gonna take out my comb and my clippers. I'm gonna set them to zero. What I'm gonna do is see, I don't wanna cut the sides yet because I'm gonna use them for my longer fenders and I'm gonna remove some bulk on top. So I'm gonna start See, holding my comb straight, just as your normal flat top. Yeah, and I'm gonna lift all the hair in the back. And I'm gonna kinda connect that to the hair on the crown. See, don't worry too much if it's already perfectly straight. That doesn't really matter yet. We just wanna remove some bulk, yeah? Remove hair, remove hair. We just want to have a shape to work with. Now I'm gonna bring up those fenders, yeah? And I'm just gonna kinda connect. See, and I'm over directing this hair because I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with the length of those fenders. See, but I definitely want to keep them so I have hair to work with later, yeah? Bringing it all up. 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 Removing a lot of hair. Double check. Bringing those square angles in. course there are different ways of working but you definitely want to keep some length right because I don't know exactly what the hair will do when it's dry and as with every flat top uh, we have a video now of Lane doing a very short military kind of style flat top you can even go shorter and you would end up with a horseshoe flat top uh, I did like a bit of a crossover between a pompadour and a flat top which I call the classic flat top this is how people used to wear them back in the days uh, flat top with fenders is a completely different hair. Oh yeah, we got the Psych Billy Quiff. They're all different versions of the flat top. So, the moment I removed a lot of hair, I'm going to take a little bit of our grooming tonic, which we use before the blow drying to make the hair a little bit more sticky. We want it to stand up, we want to see the shape, so we can freehand work with those longer fenders and the length on top. So. 
Not too much, but definitely enough. Divide it over the hair. And I really think that the magic of most flat tops is in the blow drying. So I'm gonna dry the hair. I think uh, the drying of the hair is one of the most important parts of the flat top, yeah? See, everybody works in a different way. Lane, for example, which you saw in the last video we posted, he hates using a nozzle. And somehow I can really use a blow dryer without the nozzle. It's very, very personal. I'm gonna take my vent brush here and I'm gonna dry the hair all into the back. The shape of the drying is super important. So watch my brush. See, I dried the hair and the basic shape is there. Now, of course, there are still a lot of hairs that we gotta fix here, but it's very important that you see the shape you wanna work with. See, so the fenders are moving in to that shape in the back. See, you see the DA already. So at this point, it's really personal taste and feel for aesthetics and balance. I mean, the flat top with fenders is a little bit different than your normal haircut. So you kinda gotta bring in some of your personal taste how you like it to look. But as with every flat top, it's really important that you just keep following that square line. See, I'm lifting all the hair up including those fenders and normally the hair will fall out because of the weight on, of the length on the side. See lifting it up, up, following the length on top. Oh look who's there. Are you bored yet? <laughs> the one and only. It's a small world after all. <laughs> See, following your lines, it's really, flat top with fenders is, it's feeling, yeah, because you don't want to force the hair too much into a certain direction. If you're going to pull it all up, look at this face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A serious haircut with you around. <laughs> the first time you dry the hair, it's pretty much a basic blow dryer. I'm gonna blow dry it again when I'm happy with the rest of the shape later. Yeah, so now I'm just gonna go for my first basic shape. So I'm gonna lift all the hair in the back, bring it up to the crown area and take off that chunk, see? So that's pretty much how you're gonna set in your basic connection to the hair on top. Yeah, I'm not really gonna touch my fenders yet, but I'm gonna lose a little bit of hair here in the front, just so it's gonna blend in nicely to that nape area. Yeah, you can pretty much see the shape here. See, this is where it wants to go into your DA. 
So right behind the ear, I'm actually pretty much gonna follow the line where the ear is attached. And that area, I'm just gonna taper in a little bit. Now, again, it's all up to you because of course you can do this haircut in very different ways. I actually kind of like it with a mullet too. There used to be a, a Teddy Boys that had a flat top with fenders going into a little longer mullet in the back. And look, I, I actually kind of love that style, man. It's really aggressive, very rock and roll. See, blending it in, blending it in, blending it in. Blending it in. Yeah, you can really, as I'm working, see the shaving merch. Repeating the same process on the other side. Watch what the hair is telling you. See, there you got your fenders. There you got your flat top. And this is that little tapered area. I think one of the coolest things of our profession is that everybody has unique hair. So you kind of got to treat it in a unique way either. And that is the thing, you know, there are techniques for every haircut, but especially with the flat top with fenders, you really got to watch what the hair will tell you. And that's the line you got to follow. Definitely a haircut you're not going to see a lot in your shop, unfortunately, because I really, really, really love doing these. But it's one of those haircuts that did not really survive history. But then again, I think that as a barber, you should know the history of all those cool haircuts. Even if you don't like them, you should still know if a client walks in and asks for a flat top boogie that you at least know what he's talking about okay so once your basic shapes in see the front the, the top is already pretty flat i'm gonna dry it again he's got some horrible cowlicks in the front i've done his hair quite a couple of times before it really looks the best when you go quite short now for me the trick to blend in those sides is taking them up And then I'm gonna use my blending scissors. See, to loosely connect. But again, as always, you really gotta look at how it's blending in, yeah? The balance in a flat top with fenders is the most important thing. So, blending it all in, bringing that comb up. If at this point you feel more uh, comfortable with clippers or normal scissors, hey, it's all up to you. I said it once, I said it before, do whatever you feel most comfortable with. But you can now really see that shape emerge. Same story in that nape area. Bring it up, bring it up. See, I put my scissors in front of it so I know exactly where I'm taking it. I'm not using these to thin, I'm using them to blend. See, and I like how those fenders going to the knee barrier. When 
and I'm happy with the basic shape. I'm going to dry the hair again. And then we're going to go for the detailed and final look. So you're kind of going all uh, a Bob Ross on this hair here. A little Van Dyke brown. <laughs> oh look, there's a tree. <laughs> These fuckers are actually comparing me to Bob Ross here. I'm Rob Ross. <laughs> How? What did you? Huh? You do a little cut. You're a hair little barber. It's your haircut. It's your world. You can make it however you want. I do kind of talk like that, don't I? Oh my god, that's so bad. Well, yeah. They're right. Maybe I do. But you know what? It is your world. It is your haircut. Man, the moment you stop enjoying doing haircuts, you're fucked. So you know you gotta have you gotta have some fun, man. Right? People people make jokes when they see my videos. They're like, he talks too much. Oh, he's high. He's on cocaine. Uh, well, you know, I mean, if if you go back in the history of YouTube, there might actually be a couple of videos, and I'm you know, but I can tell you what, I'm on a natural high these days, man. And I just really, really love doing hair. So no matter what you put in the comments, like, oh, this, this, blah, blah, I don't care, you know, because I'm having a good time. The moment those comments get to you, that means you're not enjoying your job anymore because you kind of believe the shit they're saying about you. That's a trap. Don't fall for it. See, bring all that hair up. Until you find that square crown area. It's all about blending the whole thing in. See, that's one side. God, I love flat top defenders. Right? I really wish more people would ask for them. How many flat top with fenders you think you've done in your life? Jason. Uh, I actually... I can probably count them on one hand. Yeah, I, you know what? In 30 years... Well, on different clients then, right? Because, I mean... Yeah. I did a lot of flat with fenders on high in here. <laughs> Dude, that was so funny. I'm like, what? I'm not, I'm not high. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> thought I was high just because I was like... Stoked. Well, the, and that's the exactly the issue you're touching on, and that's what barbering is now. Is oh no, I'm too cool to care. I'm too, and that's the. And as much as I think the pissed off barbers page is hysterical, I think that so many barbers now think it's too cool. You know, they're too cool to care about a haircut, or too cool to want to do a good job and stuff. And I think that that's total bullshit. Like it's. It's a job like any other. You can enjoy it sometimes and hate it sometimes, but you know, try and enjoy it more often. Exactly. I think the, the, the coolest advice I ever got about getting a job was uh, my dad said, look, it's a job. You get paid to show up, but if you can enjoy it 80% of the time, you're winning. You're in the top 1%. It's, it's so true, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. For me, it's a job, too. And as much as I love every haircut, it's not that I like every, every client, you know what I mean? But it's these little jams that walk in every once in a while and you go from like really long to short, somebody walks in with perfect hair. Mm -hmm. Man, at that point, you know, I can't even imagine doing anything else, man. For sure. And sometimes you get those days where it's just, you know, everything's going wrong and then you get to work and you spill coffee on your shirt. You just don't have a good day at work and it's nothing to do with the job. It's just that that's how it is. And it, you know, but you gotta find the joy in it every other day. Because you're right, a, a long hair customer, or you get a flat, a flat top boogie, a flat top boogie walks in, 
And you know that that's the time, one time you're going to do that haircut that month, for that six month period, and, and you just, if you don't get excited about it, you're doing the wrong thing. I think if you don't get excited about cool haircuts anymore, you're done. You should find another job, man. It was never, ever about being cool. It's about making your clients look cool. Okay, at this point, I'm pretty happy with the basic shape. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna wet the hair thoroughly. Thoroughly. And I'm gonna blow dry it again into the final shape. And then I'm really gonna try to work on my details and perfect the shape. But as you can tell, even when I wet the hair, uh, that shape's already, it's already there. I, I mean, I agree. It's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a haircut. You don't see it often, but on the right, right person, it can look so, so cool. And of course, you can do a taper here. If you want fenders just a little bit longer. Hey, you can do whatever you want. A little bit of Van Dyke brown. <laughs> so instead of just grooming tonic, I'm going to take a little bit of our fiber gel because it's a little bit stronger. I really want to dry this front part into the back. Not too much because it's pretty, pretty strong. Use it on wet hair and especially on those, area, those areas that need a little bit more support. Don't use too much of it though, because it can work for you. If you use too much, it's gonna work against you because it gets too sticky and it's gonna be hard to get your comb. Gonna use your classic men's hair brush, your Denman brush on the top, and I'm gonna use my vent brush on the sides. I wanna have the sides move a little bit more naturally, but at this point, I really want the hair to stand up as much as possible to take out the last hairs on the top. drying it again, now all those last hairs will stand up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the top one more time. Checking for details. See, I don't know if you can see on camera. Well, I'm going really, really, really short on top. Yeah? It's to make those longer fenders jump out even more. They're really going to accentuate the flatness of the, of the top. See, my trick with flat tops is I go super short on the highest point of the skull so I can use that point as a guide and a pivot. See, lifting that comb up. And that way I know exactly how high to pull those square angles up. Because unlike the flat top laying it that went a little bit inside, especially with the flat top with fenders, it's very important that you keep it super, super square. This is definitely a haircut that's gonna need product. Now, I always tell students here at the Old School Barber Academy, uh, you cut, and the guys working in my shop, you have to cut till the hair doesn't need any product. Then you know you did a perfect haircut. Now, it already looks good, but I personally think that the flat top with fenders looks its best when those sides are completely greased down into that DA in the back. See, that's what makes it dirty. That's what makes it rock and roll. So when you're checking your haircut, you're gonna look at the squareness and the flatness on top, right? But sometimes you just really wanna see, 
because this is what the final look is going to be. This is going to be slick back, nasty, dirty, so you still got that rock and roll feeling to it. Yeah? Okay. This next step is, just like the rest of this haircut, very personal. I'm going to clean up my outline, but not too much. See, so I'm using the natural fall. See, I'm not combing it all down to remove all that hair because we need those fenders. We want to slick it back, but we definitely need a little bit of connection into that nape area. See, so I'm leaving it quite long because you want to keep it thick because that's the trick with the fenders. You want it all to look square. If you go too short around the ears, it's gonna be like short and then you're gonna have this big ball of hair, which is, I personally think, not a very uh, aesthetic haircut, right? So this hair around the ears actually is part of my fenders. Okay, from this point on, Basically what I'm doing is checking, double checking. You really want to comb it all kinds of directions. See, so if you check your fenders, you want to comb them all up. See, and just check your lines. Comb it all up. Check your lines. See, it's really blending in nicely. If you see a little bit of bulk, you can, of course, always go through it, but don't take out too much because they are fenders. See, if you get that feeling halfway your haircut, like, it's gonna look awesome. Dude, that, that's, that's, that's what you're doing it for, man. You know, the client, comes number one, but in a certain way, the only way you can make a client happy with his haircut, if you're happy with that same haircut, man. Liners. See, not touching the part I did with scissors, but definitely lining out my sideburns. And that nape area. I think especially with, with, with men's haircuts, well actually with every men's haircut, but definitely with your flat tops, keep that angle as wide and square as possible. It makes your haircut look more, uh, even more masculine, yeah? If it's all white, you go in in the back, aesthetically, yeah. Any hair standing out, you scrape them off. Yeah, and I hope you can tell that during the whole haircut, I keep combing all the hair in the shape, well, pretty much actually in the final shape, see? happy with the final shape. See, so I got super short on the crown, yeah, and those fenders blending in nicely into the crown area where you got this super 50s DA Ducks Rs 
finish into that tapered nib area. Looks really, really, really nice. But I personally think that it looks even better with product. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're horrible Muppets. Well, as you can tell, I'm gonna use a little bit of the of the pink ruzo. I know, I know. This is the point where a lot of people are gonna be in the comments like, uh. but you know what? Every barber that's watching this video, or everybody that's been to a barber shop in his life, will recognize the bullshit. Because you know what? I believe that a barber shop is really about these kind of moments, man. The haircuts are very, very important. But <laughs> screwing around is about just as important, man. Having fun with your colleagues and friends. So I know that is a lot of product. That is a lot of grease. But this is one of those haircuts, and you saw before I actually put the grease in, the shape was already there. But this is one of those haircuts that needs to look dirty, man. This is a dirty haircut. So, grease. Where's my comb? Oh, there it is. Right? And now we're just gonna slick those sides back. Flat up with fenders. It's really one of those haircuts. You know what? Anybody saw the original version of It, Stephen King's It? The bad guy in It. What's his name? Henry Bauer. In the movie. He's got this really nasty flat top with fenders kind of haircut. You know also. As a great flat top with fenders. Anybody saw that movie, uh, Weird Science? What, what's, what's the name of the brother, the asshole? Skip, Skip, Biff. Like Biff, Biff who, who later is turned into a big turd. Like a real turd, like a piece of shit. He had a flat top with fenders as well, man. I guess it's a little bit of a... Of a of a bad of a bad boy haircut. So here it is, the flat top with fenders, aka the flat top boogie, aka the Matt Curtis. It's not a haircut you're gonna do a lot of times. I mean, even I have done a couple in my life, but I think it's one of the most fun haircuts to do. And you know what? You can do it any way you want to. See, I really love that slick back. It's a little rock and roll-y. It's a little, it's, it's a little uh, punk rock in it. You know, it's not gonna work on a lot of people, but on the right hair, the right guy, it's one of the most badass haircuts to do it. So, I really hope you enjoyed our latest video. Uh, please be nice in the comments. I know you're not gonna be, but uh, we will see you next time. And I think we're gonna do a executive contour the next time. If I can find a model. Subscribe, thank you. Bye bye. Hasta la pasta.